Hey guys, I wanted to take a little bit of time this evening to talk about my favorite cold steel knife. Um, <clears throat> might surprise some of y'all. I'm looking at again an EDC knife, a knife that I feel comfortable carrying, and a knife that I know will not let me down if I need it, whether that's cutting strings or cutting small animals. So the knife I'm talking about today and my favorite cold steel knife is the cold steel True American. That's wrong. It's actually the American Lawman. We can say the true American, but it's the American Lawman. Since I don't do edits, we're going to stick with that. The cold steel American Lawman, you can check the dimensions, but it's about a three and a half inch blade. It's DLC coated um, SL35VN, G10 handles, very, very thin, grippy handle, very nice and open grip both on the regular grip and a very generous finger choil for me to choke up and get a lot of those more controlled detail cuts. Utilizes the cold steel triad lock, which is a very, very strong lock, very strong locking mechanism, so strong that I can't even really flip it under my phone. Um, believe me guys it opens easier than that it's just the angle that I'm standing at trying to manipulate the knife but again the blade stock on this is also very thin for a cold steel I want to say it's between 0.13 and 0.15 um, comes down to a very very sharp edge and that S35 VN seems to be heat treated very well um, I've sharpened this knife a couple of times and it holds a razor sharp edge um, this knife comes from Taiwan, it's a made in Taiwan knife, but again the quality, the fit and finish, and the overall way this knife makes me feel is just a winner. Um, let's compare it to a couple of other knives. Let's look first at the Cold Steel 4 Max. It's going to be a good bit smaller than the Cold Steel 4 Max. And then compared to the Wii Baby Banter. It's going to be bigger than the Baby Banter, smaller than the 4 Max. So let's look at it next to the Benchmade Bug Out. It's going to be bigger than the Bug Out by a little bit. And the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, PM2. So just a hair, maybe smaller than the PM2, but about the same size. So anyways, guys, it's a good medium-sized knife. Again, three and a half inch blade, very generous handle, very nice area for your hand, both in the regular grip or in a choked up grip. I think it's just a, a knife that checks almost all the boxes for just a strong, reliable tool that you can carry every day and cut with every day. So I want to leave you guys with this. Look out to the guy or gal on your left. Look out for the guy or gal on your right. Know that we're going to have disagreements. Know that we can have discussions to try to come to terms with those disagreements. Um, love you. Love every one of you. Thanks for taking time and watching my video. Peace.